In this video we will look at editing templates and adding in fields for the template to display. Let's have a look at the standard templates supplied with one biz app. Go into Documents Templates and you can see the default templates. These are stored as .docx files and can be edited externally if necessary. We'll view and edit the invoice templates as an example. We've already added our company's logo and changed the name in the Importing Images video. Here we're going to add a new field that the invoice will pick up when it's generated. All the variable fields in these documents are surrounded by square brackets. They can be used in documents generated by the system, but also automatic field names can be used in tasks and jobs. We'll have a look at these later in the video. You can see that these variable fields are all over this template, meaning that multiple documents can be sent out at the same time to many different people using Mail Merge. First, we must put the document in edit mode as shown. Now, place the cursor in the document where you want the field to appear. In this example, we're going to add the customer's mobile number to the form. We're going to put it just after the customer's address. Click on the Insert Field icon and we're given a list of options. The item type we want here is Contact. Now we see other options. It's the customer we want, then Mobile Number. Select as shown. You can also select the checkbox to say it's OK for this field to be blank. We're not going to check this box right now to see what happens when we generate an invoice. The options available to select fields are explained in the Insert Field video. To finish off the template, we're going to quickly edit the VAT and registration numbers, as these never change. Save the template, and we're now going to use it with one of our customers. Let's have a look at one of the jobs we created earlier. To generate an invoice, click on Mail Merge. We're going to generate an invoice and send it to someone called Karen Adams. Choose which invoice to generate from the list and the results are displayed. The template we have just edited has been used. Remember, we didn't check the Allow Blanks checkbox. As a consequence, we get this on the invoice, which we can edit directly before sending. In this example, we're going to go into the contact and add a mobile number on their record. Karen now has a mobile number. So we can go back into the job, recreate the invoice to see how it looks now. Karen's mobile number is now displayed on the invoice. So you can see how editing the text and insert fields on the template transposes into real invoices. Now we'll have a look at how insert field can be used on tasks and jobs. First go into your task list and select the query Templates Master. Now put the template in edit mode. In this task template, we're going to put some text in the description. We want the text to say, Work Done By, followed by the creator of the task's name. Click into the Insert Field area and click on Special Fields. Select User First Name, add a space, then User Last Name. The user is the person logged in creating the task. Save the task template, ignoring the error message as this is completed when we create the real task. Now, let's create a task from that template. Select New Task, then Support Chargeable. You can see our new fields here, and the template will add its values when the task is saved. The task can now be found using the search box. Search for the task as shown, and open it. You can see that the field we inserted is now in the task, having been added automatically. That concludes the help video on editing templates and adding fields. We hope you found it useful.